Hey, welcome back. I am going to do another weekly vlog. Unfortunately, it's already Wednesday, so I already dropped the ball for Monday and Tuesday, but I'm here and I'm going to show you what things we've already been working on. Today is Wednesday, like I said, so it's cooking day and we are on letter B. So we are making my favorite dessert, which is brownie. So we put the brownies into individual like cupcake tins and only cooked them for about maybe not even 20 minutes since they're so small so that every kid has their own. Mmm, literally brownies are my favorite. Okay, so this week is also literacy week, so we've had some dress up weeks on Monday. It was hat day. I didn't have a hat to wear. Yesterday was crazy sock day and me and my era actually matched unintentionally so that was pretty fun and then today is wear purple for the grade level every grade has a different color so ours is purple and this is about as close to purple as it gets in my closet i don't know why to recap some things that we did on monday and tuesday in reading is we read the story the mitten by jan brett and so on monday we talked about vocabulary and just reading the story answering questions making predictions and then Yesterday, we made this huge uh, mitten, like really big, and we made it blue instead of white, but same concept. And we just colored little animals from the story. And so we retold the story and the kids each got an animal, not every kid, but, and then whenever we were talking about which animals got inside of the mitten, when it was their turn, they would come put it in the mitten and then we sneezed all together and they all fell out. We also have a area, I don't know if I showed you guys yet, for a new center for teacher area. And so I put the mitten and the book in the teacher area for playtime and the kids are pretending to be the teacher so that they can retell the story. It's pretty cute, one of them's falling out. Um, we also, like I said, are doing letter B. So we made a little capital B. The kids asked, where's the stinger? Where are the eyes? I'm like, can't win with them, you know? Okay, so my camera died earlier when I was in the middle of showing you some of the things we've got done so far this week. In my small group this week, I am pulling kids for a guided reading lesson on this story, What Do You See? And we're just going over the vocabulary. Some of the groups I can, you know, work on how many words are in a sentence or which word is first, concepts of print, things like that. And then at the end, they got to get a sheet of paper and tell me something that wasn't, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me something that was in the book. So on this one it says, it is a strawberry. And we learned about the seeds of a strawberry. It's kind of blurry. And so this kid even took the time to do the details of the seeds. But as you can see, I used highlighter and this one is kind of working on letter formation. So just a fun little follow-up activity for that. In the other group, we have our writing group where they are working on the letter B and how to write the letter B and finding the letter B. And then the actual alphabet group is working on this game, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. So some of the kids are matching the lowercase to the uppercase, and some kids are matching the uppercase to the uppercase. So that is our learning center groups that we've been working on this week. Then for today's read aloud, we read Bubble Bear. It's one of those books from Scholastic for the letter of the week. And we just talked about things that start with B, which there are so many things, so my chart is going to be very, very full. Then during math, we, I have my little buckets here, so I'm pulling stuff out for you guys. The beginning of math, we did make these die cuts of mittens, and we are measuring the kids how many mittens tall they are by laying on the ground. And then we talked about like if daddy would be more mittens, or if a mouse would be more or less mittens. I'll show you that chart in a little bit. And then I feel like that's everything that we've been going over. So let me show you that chart and I will also show you our poetry notebook that we do every Friday. So this is a quick little uh, anchor chart that I made. So far we have measured a few of our students, not everybody. And as you can see, they're pretty much eight or nine mittens. We're rounding up a, a little, not everything is exact. And then this is the poetry notebook. So every week we do that poem that I've showed you and we started with some nursery rhymes. I don't know where your, uh, this is Casey's, where your Humpty Dumpty poem is, girl. It's missing. And then we have a little craft that goes with it. So if you look really close, Humpty Dumpty was broken and they put them back together again. 
Then we had Mary had a little lamb. They made a cute little lamb. Itsy Bitsy Spider. Which I was not here for. Yeah, Casey didn't get to do that one, so that was a teacher one. Patty cake, put a little cupcake in there, and they got to stamp the letter of their name. Twinkle, twinkle, little so star. Cute. Yeah, this is like glittered and foamy. And then one, two, three, four, five, which my paras had never heard before, and I feel like this is a very popular one, so I was shocked. But they got to glue on their little numbers in order, and then a hand because he bits his, bites the finger, the little finger on their right. Uh, hot cross buns, they put two a penny and then a hot cross bun. It's cute. Is it? it is cute, isn't it? Five little turkeys. They, this one was extra special because we got to watercolor paint it and then let it dry. I know, so fun. She did a good job, didn't you, Casey? And then the Christmas tree. Did she draw that? No, this is a. This was already colored. Yeah. They just glued these in and then like, did glitter dots. Wow, up. she's so great. Uh, five little gingerbread men. They got to add the mm -hmm. stickers for their gingerbread. It's a die cut. And then I'm a little penguin. We got fancy because my para Sam got a uh, cricket. I actually have a silhouette too, but I'm lazy and don't use What's it. A cricket. It's like the machine that cuts it out. Oh. Anyways, and so she actually made these cutouts of these adorable penguins. So that one's really cute. And same here, snowman. So scarf and a hat. So I'm a little snowman. And then this week will be a mitten. We die cut that already. That is it so far. Sorry I didn't vlog on Monday or Tuesday. The girls are really trying to get in here. <laughs> um, I will keep you posted for our plans for... Just a teacher thing. A teacher thing for the rest of the week. And I will see you next time. Bye. Welcome back. It's Thursday. I... Whew. I know I told you this last time, but Thursdays are rough. <laughs> we're exhausted, and I think it's a full moon, so we were we had a lot of energy today. But as you can see here, we made our letter Bs. There they are, so cute. Bats, I hope they're not backwards. I mean, besides the kid that did do it backwards, Bs and Ds, you know. Um, and then we read this nonfiction story. Let me grab it real quick. See, nonfiction bats, it has a ton of words in it. So we just talked about nonfiction and facts that we were learning and then I showed them the table of contents and they picked out their categories that they wanted to know more facts about. So that was pretty easy. It was a simple day, we did a lot of playing. We had a lot of teachable moments about using our words to solve problems, which is what our social emotional goal is. And then we are just getting things ready for Valentine's Day. We are asking for the Valentines to be sent in a little early so that we can quarantine them, you know, from the home so that we're not sharing all those germs everywhere. And then I have a ton of centers that I need to get together. I haven't even finished my lesson plans yet. We've had meetings a lot this week and it's just been very busy. As you can see, I haven't been vlogging every single day like I did last time, but hopefully tomorrow I'll have more things printed out and more things to share with you for what we're gonna do for our centers and our activities. And next week I think it's letter L, so some L activities too. All right, I'm going home, see ya. Hey guys, um, it's Friday. I've got my hair up because it's been a long week, but we are here, it is Friday, I'm about to leave. My lesson plans are pretty much put together and I'm just gonna share with you a couple of things that we are doing next week. So the first thing that's going on is it is February. We are going to be doing the groundhog and that's on Tuesday. So we're gonna make a chart and I'll hopefully vlog next week and show you guys where we're gonna do, you know, if it has a shadow or doesn't have a shadow. We, I'm gonna make this poem about the groundhog and then we are going, it's letter L week, so we're going to be making a lion or the capital L, Q. I'm reading a nonfiction story about lions. We are also for cooking, making ladybug cookies with M&Ms for the dots. And then we are going to be making a ladybug, haven't made that one yet, um, for our lowercase L. Reading the grouchy ladybug, putting this away as we're talking. Multitasking here. And then the 100th day at our school will be on Friday, but in pre-K we are not counting to 100 as one of our standards. So we do the song here and there. So just not a busy 100th day like I'm used to in kindergarten and first grade, but I'm gonna read the 100 day worries. And I was thinking about having the kids group 10 things together and then counting by tens. Keep it simple. And then Groundhog's Day, I have a story called Wake Up Groundhog. So we will read that for one of our activities this week as well. And then um, today we finally got to read the Mae Jemison 
book and it was so cute she did she told her mom that she wanted to be an astronaut and her mom said you know if you can dream it anything is possible the kids wanted to know what possible meant and then by the end of the story they were saying anything's possible and then at the end I asked the kids what they wanted to be when they grew up we made these little speech bubbles here and every kid told us what they wanted to be so we got a vet a chef a rock star a police officer a marine biologist he just said penguins but that's what that is um, a hairstylist, a teacher, a fairy, <laughs> love that one. Um, somebody said they wanted to study bats, so that's a chiropotologist, not sure. So it was super cute, and we're gonna add their little speech bubbles to their little astronauts that are on the board outside. We are also, for Black History Month, doing Jackson 5 ABC, and so I will show you in a minute. We are um, gonna, sing along and dance to it, but we made little signs out of glitter, and by we, I mean my parents. They know how to glitter everything, and they look so good. So we made the ABC and the one, two, three, and then we are going to start practicing. Okay, my camera died. Good times, and it's gonna die again. I just charged it for like literally two minutes, so we'll make this fast. I'm going to show you these glitter signs that are so cute. So we got A, B, C, and then one, two and three all right so this week's video probably didn't have as much as last week's video but you know doing the best i can it was a busy week with meetings and all that good stuff we're still having a lot of fun we did some gardening as well and stay tuned for next week we will see you then if you like this video please hit like subscribe the notification bell so you can see more of what we're doing in pre-k and hopefully some family vlogs coming up too because that side of my life is still super busy but thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye